Hello, my name is Tina, and welcome back to Off Books. And today we won't be talking books. We're looking at some of the damage that the rain has caused in the area not too far away from where I live, which is this lake. Now, as you can see by the footage, the water is extremely high, and this walkway that I'm walking over here is covered in little sticks and possibly even algae, which basically just shows us that that was actually completely underwater. And like the day before it was underwater as I'd been talking to a few friends later on who said that yeah the, even the parking lot beside it had 50 centimeters of water in it some restaurants had a meter of water standing downstairs in their basements were completely filled it was really really bad as you can see here now this is two days after the rainfall or the worst of it the walkway is still covered in water. The side there is a little higher and the water is pouring down it. The whole side drainage thing beside the path is completely full of water and it's still flowing over into the lake. And here, like, just walking through water the whole way down for a good while, as you can see there, goes straight on. There's water for quite a while. Now, as you can see, the whole lake is surrounded by trees, and as I mentioned just before, it goes upwards on both sides. So, the water that would have come from the rain didn't just land there and stay, no, it actually came down in torrents. And you can see there, I'm zooming in, there you can notice there was so much water, and I thought, hey, you know what, here are some ducks. Enjoy. And this is a little further on, I thought I'd show you a bit more. It's really a nice little place. Usually, you walk around there on a nice day. It was actually really warm, the sun was hitting down quite a lot. Which is surprising, because when you looked around it looked like terrible rain come down. This playground, actually, is completely covered in water. If you walk through it, some of the games, completely underwater. Now that whole part of there was blocked off. Um, on the opposite side. You couldn't actually walk there and you could see here in the footage I just took afterwards that actually there was a tree that fell down and blocked the path there. The process of the tree falling down actually broke the tree that was at the water there so you can actually see probably when I get closer that the tree falling down fell right on that tree, ripped down some branches of the tree to the left, that just left the screen. But yeah, you can see it's quite a massive tree, but that's because the water was running down there and then picked up some of the dirt and earth that was there underneath and then just ripped it out completely. And here you can see, now this is at the other end of the lake from where I started, there is a whole area underwater. There's benches there behind and trees completely underwater. The parking you saw behind is the parking I mentioned just before, the one that was underwater. And the side of the waterfall there, the earth is completely stripped away. And here at the second waterfall you can see, hey, it doesn't even look like a waterfall because that is how high the water was. That's supposed to be about a 30 to 40 centimeter drop, I think, and it was just so much water there. And here this as well, this is side is trying to cope, it's basically supposed to only be a small stream. And here, the footage you saw at the very beginning, this is the same area just from the opposite side, and some dogs. And here we are back in the car on the way off from the lake, and I thought I'd just show you, you know, the area, because it looks really nice. There's some nice towns and villages dotted around the road, and some nice hills and all, so it just is a really cool little place in the middle of nowhere. And one last piece of footage, this field that we're about to see is completely underwater, and I just thought, well, this shows just how much rain came down. That brings us to the end of this video, I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you next week with a new video. That's all from me, bye! Hello, my name is Steve Nauf and welcome back to our books and today we're doing something slightly different. I'm taking you with me, I'm going to a book convention called Les Iges Marginales.